In this example, we are given the coordinates of A, B, C, and M. But notice M has a Y coordinate that is K. And we want to find the value of K if A, B is parallel to M, C. So first, we're going to find the gradient of A, B. So if I simplify, 10 minus negative 6 becomes 16, and 8 subtracting negative 4 would become positive 12. And I can simplify, and that becomes 4 over 3. Now let's find the gradient of MC, and the y value of M is k minus 8 over. The x values are 2 minus 6. So I have k minus 8 over negative 4. Now, because these two lines are given as parallel, we can make these two gradients equal to each other. And to simplify, we cross multiply. So it is 4 times negative 4 and k minus 8 times 3. And now if I multiply out, I have 3k minus 24 is equal to negative 16. And now we simply solve k. So I have cross multiplied. That means it's 4 times negative 4 and 8 minus k multiplied with 3. I multiply it out. So on the left, I have 3k minus 24 is equal to 16. If I transpose the 24 and then divide by 3, I find that k is equal to 8 over 3. In this example, we have the same four coordinates as before. And now we want to find k if AB is perpendicular to CM. So as we did before, we find the two gradients of the lines AB and MC. But now that they are perpendicular, I can say that K minus 8 over negative 4 multiplied with 4 over 3 must be equal to negative 1. Because we are working with perpendicular lines, the product of the gradients are now equal to negative 1. Now if I simplify, I have k minus 8. The 4s would cancel, so I have negative 3, negative 1. Then I multiply both sides with negative 3. So on the left hand side, the negative threes will cancel out. So I have K minus eight. And on the right hand side, negative one times negative three, that becomes plus three. And therefore K is equal to 11. In this example, we are given the equation of a line and the points A and B. And we want to find K if A, B, is parallel to this line. So when they are parallel, we know that the gradients are equal. So the gradient of the line is equal to two. Remember the equation of a line is written as y is equal to mx plus c, where the m represents the gradient. So the gradient of this line is equal to two. And if I find the gradient of AB, I have y of B minus y of A over x of B minus x of A. And that is k minus 5 over negative 1 minus 3. So that becomes k minus 5 over negative 4. So when the line is parallel to AB, then we know that these two gradients are equal. So we can say 
k minus 5 over negative 4 is equal to 2. Then I can solve k by multiplying 2 with negative 4 to get rid of the fraction and then moving the 5 over. So k is equals to negative 3 when the line is parallel to AB. Now we can also use those same values and find k if the line is perpendicular to AB. Now in that case, we have 2 times k minus 5 over negative 4. And if I multiply out, it must be equal to negative 1 for perpendicular lines. So now I have 2 k minus 5 in the numerator over negative 4 minus 1 on the right. So I multiply the negative 1 with negative 4 to get equal to 4. Then divide both sides by 2. And then find k. So k would be equal to 7 if the line is perpendicular to AB. So in our previous example, we had k is equals to negative 3 when the lines are parallel. I find both gradients and then set them equal to each other. And in this example, I still need to find both gradients. But now I multiply out to negative 1 when they are perpendicular to each other.